All right, video six of nine, and we're going to start right here. I do forgive you, Hester, replied the minister at length with a deep utterance of an abyss of sadness, but no anger. I freely forgive you now. May God forgive us both. We are not, Hester, the worst sinners in the world. There is one worse than even the polluted priest. The ma old man's revenge has been blacker than my sin. He is violated in cold blood and sanctity of a human heart. Thou and I, Hester, never did so. Never, never, whispered she. What we did had a, con a consecration of its own. We felt it so. We said so to each other. Hast thou forgotten it? Hush, Hester, uh, said Arthur Dimsdale, rising from the ground. No, I have not forgotten. They sat down long again, side, sat down again, side by side, and hand clasped in hand, on the mossy trunk of the fallen tree. Life had never brought them a gloomier hour. It was the point whither they, their pathway had so long been tre trending, and darkening ever as it stole along, and yet it enclosed a charm that made them linger about it, and claimed another and another, and after all another moment. The forest was obscure around them and creaked with a blast that was passing through it. The boughs were tossing heavily about their, he their heads, while one solemn old tree groaned dolefully to another, as if telling the sad story of the pair that sat beneath, or constrained to forebode evil to come. And yet they lingered. How dreary looked the forest track that led backward to the settlement, where Hester Prynne, must take up again the burden of her enigmity and the minister the hollow mockery of his good name. So they lingered an instant longer. No golden light had ever been so precious as the gloom of this dark forest. Here, seen only by his eyes, the scarlet letter need not burn into the bosom of the fallen woman. Here, seen only by her, her eyes, Arthur Dimsdale, false to God and man, might be for one moment true. He started at a thought that suddenly occurred to him. Hester, cried he, here is a new horror. Roger Chillingsworth knows your purpose to reveal his true character. Will he continue then to keep our secret? What will now be the course of his revenge? Right? So, um, uh, so, <laughs> You know, it's funny, like here immediately Dimsdale's like, I forgive you, it's okay, whatever. And then what's really interesting is that like they, they it's almost as if they justify their sin by saying someone else is a war bigger sinner than me, right? It's kinda like when we get in trouble, um, we're like, Yeah, but I but this person's worse. He talked too in class or or he did this, right? Even though you kind of probably did it too, you blame somebody else, right? And so that's kind of what they're doing. They're they're kind of like, oh, let's blame, let's blame the priest, right? Or not the priest. Uh, let's blame blame Roger Chillingsworth. His sin is um, his the sin of revenge is blacker than our sin, right? Um, and they're like, yeah, we both. And so both Hester and them both agree with that. And they tend to linger in the forest, right, holding each other. And this was something like a like a something that's kind of interesting, like the and then it's interesting, and because even the nature, once again, nature here has a way of of speaking truth, right? Once again, nature, nature, you know, is equal to to truth, right? And that's what's happening here. All right, this ends video six of nine.